What's going on, traders? Dr. Fella back at it, just chilling today. Um, got in BRQS. Been watching this stock for a while, you guys. Been watching um, the downtrend continue on and on and on. Um, waiting for the break of that trend line. And one of my strategies is, you guys, when it, you know, when it breaks, the 50 comes back and tests the 50. And especially when there's a, um, like a little flag pattern right here. Let me show you guys. And there's a little flag pattern right there. Got in. A um, few thousand shares. 13,370 uh, shares. Now, this is going to be a swing trade. Um, this company got a, a warning from the NASDAQ saying they have 180 days. To get back above a dollar so they're gonna try to pump their own stock this week they just got a deal with qualcomm there's a lot of volume coming in um this has ties to mullen this stock has ties to mullen with uh isuzu holdings the problem with the thing with this stock is uh you, you see the tape you guys look at the crazy we're looking for the breakout above right now right here so this is gonna be a swing trade for me um i'm just gonna chill for a minute and uh I really have a high target on this. Uh, hopefully, we get to this. My first target is going to be a dollar. My second target is going to be hopefully 187. Um, so I'm going to swing this, and uh, this is a high risk trade, you guys. Just to let you know, it, um, this this can get delisted. You know, at the end of August, we have till August. Let me turn this phone down. We have till the end of August, so but a lot can happen from now till August, you guys. The thing with this th stock is they don't have options, so market makers cannot hedge this stock. So there's so many uh, short exempt stocks that they're going uh, that they're trying that they're shorting with this stock is if if retail buys the stock up, this could be like a moment like fifty cents to 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 four dollars type stock type thing. So I'm going to uh, be watching it for a few days, you guys. I don't I don't like to look at the money, which I advise you guys to do when you're trading. Just follow the pattern and follow the stocks. Like, you know, so don't pay attention to the money too much. Um, took a loss on my last trade. It was Mullen. Um, waiting for it to get cheaper, really. I know people don't like to hear that, but I'm going to see if it bounces. Because I can't keep waiting for the news, you guys, and missing all these other opportunities. So... But we're going to swing this for a minute, see what happens. The whole goal is to break 30 today, possibly 50 in this week. And in the next couple of weeks, possibly try to get up to a dollar. This thing's a low flow, 53 million uh, float, I believe. So, And this is just the beginning, you guys. This, could, this thing could run much higher. Like I said, market makers can't hedge this. They have a, um, like a six T plus 6 rule. So they have six days to, to get the shares if they're shorting, but... The thing is, if, if there's no shares, the, the, this thing's going to squeeze like crazy, guys. So, remember, it is a low float. Um, I'm not telling anybody to swing this. I'm just letting you know my trades for today. Looking for the breakout above 30. A lot of people are going to be waiting for the 30 breakout, you guys, for this, for them to get in. And uh, some people invest this. Uh, Pelosi's son's in this. Um, some good holders in here. And um, let's see if they pump it up to a buck or two. So, um uh, Anybody has any questions, email mytradecoach23 at gmail.com. Here's the break of 30. You guys, let's see what happens. Watch the tape. And then um, leave a comment, you guys. Anybody has any questions, any analysis, you want me to look at anything, um, don't forget, smack that like, plan the trade, trade the plan. Peace out.